Hello there. Today we are going to check how I did this cross stitch. Cross stitch, cross stitch sounds weird, I don't know. Resembling this cute thing here in Adobe After Effects. Kinetic Type Series by Hulk79. This is going to be very, very simple. We are going to use just a shape layer uh, with a path here we are going to animate it through a uh, trim paths it is just here the trim paths that's how it's animated and then the visual style is a combination of applying a CC ball action a simple choker to melt them a little bit here like this which is very very nice and also a fill just to for convenience to give it a, a color so let's go step by step and start from scratch and here we are in a new composition in a lovely square format I'm going to go here and select the pen tool and this time I'm going to go freestyling uh, and just improvise something okay that's going to be Happy. and don't mind this being very ugly because we are going to uh, edit this shape after we finish so this is going to be just the container or the beginning of our project but then we are going to make this way way cooler so sec second thing I don't need any fill here so I click and get rid of the fill and, but what's really needed here is the stroke so I'm going to increase it okay now this is going to be our digital cross stitch and the next thing is going to be creating the animation so I'm going to come to add and we are going after the trim paths here if we open the trim paths this is going to be let's say a two seconds animation so uh, at second two I'm going to create a keyframe in end at 100% and in the beginning it is going to be zero okay so that meaning that this reveals the whole outline of our ugly B and the next thing is going to be coming to here to window effects and presets and we are searching for the CC ball action here we apply it to the layer okay and now it is a matter of playing with the grid spacing along with the ball size to have something cool and interesting something like this could work and now we apply the second effect which is the simple choker we apply it there and we are going to start increasing it, this effect until you see that the little circles here, the dots they are melting together creating this very nice pattern so from now on is a matter of playing with three, three different uh, aspects one is the width or the thickness of the stroke okay you see if I increase it we have obviously more elements here and then we combine this setting here with the CC ball action ball size that allows us to melt them together more the grid spacing also is very very important so I'm going to decrease a little bit the ball size I think this is something very nice I'm going to start just editing this uh, path here so if you go and select the pen tool you can directly stop on top of any of these uh, controllers or points of our path and move it around and you see how how cool this is because I can start 
trying to connect things or change the shape so that it is more interesting you see and it is really 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 nice as a way to work also I'm going to show you how I did other animations so for example let's say that now I want this to say ball okay so I can select the whole path I'm going to click twice on one of the points that brings this bounding box so that I can change the size for example something like this and now with the layer selected I'm going to start also freestyle drawing an A okay I'm going to separate them a little bit to give it a little bit more of room so that we barely can read this here okay I'm going to move the B to the left and the A so that they are separated and also in trim paths this is going to make an animation that the two different shapes come together at once so you need to change the trim trim multiple shapes from simultaneously to individually and now you see that the A comes before the the B so that's only a matter of moving this up here and the first one is going to come first then the second and then the third so uh, yeah so I'm going to keep going and play fast forward you see that this L is not at the right place so it, it needs to come last here so now the order is correct so yeah now some things are not very nice here this is not connected so I'm going to keep playing a little bit with the effects here uh, let's say that the grid spacing needs to be tighter and the ball size also yeah I think this works better you see how delicate this effect this effect is uh, but yeah I think it is full of possibilities uh, please consider contributing in my buy me a coffee webpage you have the link here below in the description uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and see you in the next one Kinetic Type Series by Hulk 79.